welcome to A Web of Stories. My name is Melinda and I am here with a book review. Today I'm going to be talking about The Invisible Hour by Alice Hoffman. This is her new release. It just came out this month. Um, and I don't know what number book this is, but Alice Hoffman's written a lot. So let me give you the setup of this book. We start when we meet a young woman named Ivy. Ivy's kind of a wild child. She ends up uh, becoming pregnant. She's, she finds out that her parents are going to send her away and put the baby up for adoption. So she runs away and she ends up in a cult. We then switch to her teenage daughter, Mia, who is in this cult. This is how she's been raised, but she wants something more. She finds her way to a library. And at this library, she finds a copy of The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. And in it is a mysterious um, inscription to someone named Mia. It's almost like it's written for her. And it's through the library that she realizes there's more in her life. It's also that there's danger in her, in the cult she's in. She ends up running away from the cult and uh, trying to forge a life outside of it. I won't go into great depth about that. Um, parts of the cult, cult follower. Um, and to escape, she escapes in a very interesting place. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, this was a very quick read. It's pretty short as far as Alice Hoffman's books goes. That's fine. Um, I'm going to start this by saying two things. And if you saw one of my recent uh, Friday wrap-ups, you have heard this. One, this book was written for me. Um, I am the perfect audience for this book. The Scarlet Letter is one of my all-time favorite novels. Um, I have read Alice Hoffman's, some of Alice Hoffman's past work and loved it. Um, I'm open to magical realism and things like that, which you kind of have to be usually with Alice Hoffman because she's really big on the magical realism. This book is for me. The second thing is this book is not for everybody. <laughs> for one thing, it is not an on-ramp book. If you have never read Alice Hoffman, do not pick up this book. Um, this is not a good book to start with. I would say start with I've not read all of her books, so I can't say definitively, but I would say pretty much start with anything other than this and the fourth Practical Magic book, because you do actually need to read the first three for that one. Um, this is, this also requires some um, prerequisites. There are, th there are at least three books you need to read before you read this one. And they are, very obviously, The Scarlet Letter. Um, I know. I know, I hear you moaning, I hear you moaning, I hear you whining, whining, that you read this in high school and you hated it. Um, you haven't read it enough yet because this is an awesome book. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be a book bully about it. This book is great. Um, my tips for reading this, if, you, if it, you find it hard or you're reluctant or you didn't like it the first time you read it, my tip for this, get an audiobook version, skip the Customs House, which is this long sort of like... Um, it's long. It's yeah, long sort of like introduction to it that really has nothing to do with it. You don't need to read it. Just skip that. Um, get the audiobook and think of this as a horror novel. It goes much down much easier as a horror novel. And it is a horror novel. Although I will say the next time I reread this book, because I do reread it on a regular basis, I have a new way of reading it after reading The Invisible Hour. But anyway, you need to have read this. This is, you need it. The next one that you will need to read is Next Your Wolf by Alice Hoffman. The Red Garden by Alice Hoffman. This book is, a, it's basically a collection of short stories about a town, interconnected short stories about a town that goes through time. The town is called Blackwell, Massachusetts, which is the setting for a big part of this book. And they refer all back a lot to this. So definitely The Red Garden. And the other book, and this isn't quite as important, but I do recommend reading it. Um, and you can read the whole series, but definitely this is the one that you need to read is Magic Lessons by, uh, well, obviously by Alice Hoffman. This is chronologically, if you were to read the Practical Magic series in order, this is chronologically the first book. It's the earliest one. Um, you can read the whole series, that's fine. But this is the one that's gonna have the stuff that you need for this book. I mean, you don't need it, but I will tell you this, the best way I can describe it is if you don't read those books, it's gonna be like you go see a theater production, but you get obstructed view seats, so you're off to the side and you can't see what happens on this side and you see everything from a weird angle. That's what it will be like if you don't read those books. So, there is that. Now, 
let me talk about this book. This book is surprisingly political. Um, Alice Hoffman does, I mean, she lets her thoughts be known about uh, the attacks on women's health, uh, rights to healthcare, um, attacks that people, cultural war attacks that librarians are evil, crap like that. Don't, don't even get me started. I have no patience for, for that argument. But she, ta she, she tackles those in here. Um, it's not really a spoiler. You should just know that. <laughs> um, so yes, this is a political novel in a lot of ways. Um, but it's also a fantasy. It's a love story in an unexpected way. It's, um, it's a coming of age novel. It really, the language, it's Alice Hoffman, if you've never read her, has beautiful language. So the language in here is beautiful. And there's lots of things I wanted to tab, but I didn't have my tabs with me. So I, I will have to reread this at some point so I can tab it, I guess. Um, just things to think about. Wonderfully written book. Again, not for everybody. <sighs> this is a very disjointed review, and I know, because it's hard for me to talk about this without really spoiling it. Um, it's about a love of reading a love for yourself and um, the rights that everybody has. If you want to read this book and you aren't sure, I would definitely read the books I talked about before, The Scarlet Letter, The Red Garden, and Magic Lessons. Um, if you have to only do two of those, if you only have time to do two of those, drop off Magic Lessons, although I, I do recommend reading Magic Lessons before reading this. Um, but again, if you, you're really doing yourself a disservice if you try to read this book without reading those. I end up giving this book an A instead of an A plus because of that audience limiting effect. Um, I think for it really to get an A plus, it needs to be a book that, that doesn't have a limited audience. And this one does. So um, that is my only reason, my only knock on this book. But I really enjoyed this. Oh, the other thing I will say about this book, and this is, this is going to sound negative, but this is, um, I'm going to make a really bizarre an analogy here. Analogy. In some ways, this book reminds me of Marvel's Endgame, <laughs> Avengers Endgame. So um, my family's a big Marvel, Marvel fan. We, we love, we watch all the Marvel's movie, Marvel movies. Um, so Endgame, not a perfect movie, but it gave the audience exactly what they wanted and what they kind of needed for closure and to, to, to drop everything up. So it was a very serving novel in that way. And this book is like that. That is another reason why I probably moved it down from an A plus to an A. Not that there's anything bad about that, but I think just the nature that that is what this book is, kind of like an A is probably about as high as I can go with it. Um, still, I loved it. It's going on my keeper shelf. I will read this again. If you think this book is for you, read it. And if it isn't, it isn't. And there's no shame in that. Um, not every book is for every reader. And Alice Hoffman did decide to write a book for certain readers, and that's fine. And I'm just very glad that I am one of those readers. So if you made it through this, thank you very much. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.